Assalamualaikum, respected viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program 114 Dialogues with the Quran. Today we are going to discuss Surah Al-Mutatafshifin. Means the people who give short measures, the fraudulent people, the people who commit fraud, especially in their business activities, and they are corrupt by nature. They have been severely criticized and condemned in this surah. This word al mutatafifin has been taken from the opening verse of this surah. Wailun lil mutafifin. There is the valley of hell and fire for the defrauders. For the people who give short measures to people, when they purchase anything, they take it in a right position, but unfortunately when they give or sell, they do fraud and commit fraud with the clients and purchasers. This is Maki Surah and it comprises one Ruku and 36 verses. This surah, as it is clear from its title, it gives great importance to rights of public. Day-to-day -day life occupies great importance according to Islam and Allah Almighty. The rights of public should never be spoiled, should never be ignored. Rights of Allah Almighty, these are also very necessary, essential and compulsory, but the public rights have their great importance. The main topics of the surah, the need of doomsday and its purpose. The surah highlights that the day of judgment, the day of judgment is important, significant and necessary because if there is no accountability, the whole system of life will become useless, purposeless and aimless. So, the day of judgment is very important to maintain justice in this world, to give the lesson of fair play the people must stay away from all bad deeds and actions, from corruption, from enmity, from hatred, from every type of fraud and cruelty and injustice, because there will be a grand court of justice held by Allah Almighty on the day of judgment and all actions will be held answerable. The righteous fellows will get reward and the culprits, the non-believers and the defrauders, they will be brought to book. So the day of judgment is very necessary to give due a reward to all the people. Third important topic, the righteous fellows, the nice status, Allah Almighty says in the surah that the gentle fellows, they should be very much satisfied by their good actions, whether people give any reward or not. If they do fair play, they are the truthful, 
they are the faithful they are the loyal with allah almighty and they honor all moral values good values they become beneficial for public and human beings they should be mindful of this fact that allah almighty will give them reward they will enjoy good status and salvation and endless bliss the last main topic that is malicious behavior of non believers this surah highlights that the personal traits habits and manners of the non believers uh, that is very dirty and shameful but that is their bad habit that they criticize the followers of islam they criticize the values of islam and they think themselves very uh, intelligent and very wise people but their personal life is full of dirty actions and deeds their personal behavior uh, is full of maliciousness greediness and all dirty values they are indulged in them but unfortunately they are unable to understand their personal position but on the other hand they become brave before the gentle fellows before the believers of islam and they have been given warning of their attitude so that they could save their this personal life physical life and the life in the hereafter thanks myself mm-hmm.